Hey guys, so hot off the heels of my Transistor playthrough and the Bastion playthrough, while I was playing those two games, what I was really thinking about was this game. Because this is one of those games that's lasted, you know? Like, I keep thinking about it all the time and how much I fucking love this game. This is one of those games where I, the first time I saw it, like the first time I saw a gameplay of it, or like heard the premise or whatever, I was just like, I don't know, it just didn't click with me. I, was, I just wasn't into it. So I avoided it for the longest time, but since I put it out for free, you know, I was like, I looked at the trophies, and I was like, looked at the gameplay, I was like, yeah, I could, I could probably plat this, why not? And so this is my 100% uh, save file from before. But I'm just going to do a nice normal playthrough. Maybe I'll do 100%, because, I mean, I got 100% in only 10, ho in 10 hours on hard mode. I could probably 100% it again in less time than that. Especially since I know what the hell I'm doing this time. Uh, anyway, this whole Juan business is going to be very temporary once I get to the first uh, save point. See, I, that 10 hours was because I had to like keep going to... I had to go to areas that I'd already been to. Like, I was constantly revisiting prior areas just to... um just to beef up my stats and get extra items and whatever. But now I can probably wait a little bit before I go revisiting areas. Like, if I could beat hard... Like, there, there wasn't a lot in hard mode that even gave me that much trouble, honestly. And, like, now I don't have to, like, talk with all these chumps. It doesn't even matter. Like, but my first playthrough, I was talking to a lot of people, but it was pointless. I don't even know why I really like this game so much. Oh, uh, you know what? It's probably because of the dodge that I like. I like the dodge and I like just the combos you do. But uh, in the beginning of the game, I'm pretty, pretty fucking useless. It's kind of hard to kill enemies in the beginning. Just because you're so utterly, pointlessly, stupidly useless. You don't have any moves. You have to get all the good moves. I can't get the um, the orbs until I get my... Oh, I just realized I'm like kind of blasting through all the text, but uh... Like I'm blasting by way too fast. Whatever. Actually, you know, it's... You know, I probably should like... You know, let you guys read the text because this game is funny as fuck. <laughs> there are like a lot of references to things. Oh, by the way, look up there. There's a chest. It's the only chest in this area. Anyway, I can't get it yet. I think I can get it once I get the uppercut. Um, this guy's not very fun, though. Not funny, though. <clears throat> Looks cool, though. Oh, Flame Face! I love Flame Face. He's awesome. Oh, I also have the, uh... I also have... The Frenemies DLC. But it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use any of it. Actually, one of the characters is super good when you need to do the inf Inferno challenges. But yeah, um, when I did this on hard mode, there wasn't really much that gave me trouble except for one particular boss fight, which frankly didn't seem possible at all, no matter what character I used. He was fucking insanely stupidly bullshit like like it literally did seem like he couldn't be beat like with the moves that I had it did not seem like I could actually fairly fight a uh, uh, beat him with the character I was given or with any of the costumes I had because he, he <laughs> he'll get the shield and you have to knock it off with um normal punches, but he always teleports, or like, goes invincible, or does a move that knocks you down, or whatever, like, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. The only way I could figure out how to beat him was to get him close to that point, but then do a combo that, or just, just keep hitting him so he never gets a chance to spawn the shield, and just combo, like, stun lock him until he dies. But that was really hard to do. Hopefully he's not that hard on hard mode. Because fuck that guy. Anyway. Now I've got... Uh, yeah, fuck that. 
do I have a checkpoint yet? No, there's no... No checkpoints here. I don't even have any moves, but at least I can... Oh, fuck. At least I can fight people now. This is the fucking bread and butter right here. Doing the pile drive. Uh, I forgot. Oh, can I even dodge yet? I don't think I... Oh, there, it's L2. Okay, I thought it was R2. It's L2. Whoa, whoa. Woo! That's, that's my favorite part of this whole game. Is that little blue shield you get when you dodge into people. I just like how fast this game is. Oh my god. Or just like, just, I don't know. It's just like tight. It's a tight game. Luchadora! I need to get to a cake so I can switch out my stupid shitty character. What? Oh, whoops, he was telling me to kill all the skeletons. I thought I already did. Did I miss one? Did I miss one? Did I miss Juan? No, seriously, did I miss one? I wasn't even really going for the skeleton. I was like, who cares? I didn't even realize that was an objective the first time I played. I just did it because I could. I love that shit. I just like the throws. Whoa, buddy. Or not the throws. The throws are specific. And the grapple moves are the best. That's like the fun part of this game is like having, whoa, having large groups of enemies and doing this, and then just you know comboing them into each other. It's fucking awesome. All right, is that it? Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied, Knave? Come and get some. Where'd he go? He's like way up here. Uh, what's my objective? Oh, I have to talk to... Wait, is that my objective? Do I have to talk to that guy again? I don't remember. See, if I was actually paying attention, I'd know what my fucking objective was. I'm kind of wor- Oh. I'm kind of worried about, uh... Like, it, because I just recently played this, I might know it too well, you know? But... At the same time, it hasn't been that, uh, it was a little while ago, it was a few weeks ago, so, you know. And I haven't played, oh shit. Whoa, buddy. Oh yeah, the whole Dark World shit, oh, not this asshole. I hate the yellow ones. By the way, I was like, I was looking at um, some footage of me doing. I was looking at my last session of Transistor. Like I went and got the platinum, right? Hold on. Put pressure on my chick. Okay, I was like looking at the the last session of uh, Transistor, and I was looking at when I was doing like the performance. Um, I was looking at the performance test or whatever. You know what I mean? Get up, get in there, get in there, assholes. Get in, get in there. Uh, and it's like it's fucking so bad. Like I didn't. Ha uh. There was like a point where I was like, "Hmm, void with get and crash." No, nah, I don't need that. That is like the combo. Of the, that is the move. I had, I had the fucking the setup. I had the ability to make the best setup in the whole fucking game. And then I like, uh, I actually said the words like, I don't think I need purge. I don't think I need purge right now. And I just wanted to fucking punch myself. It's like, are you serious? I had, okay. Here's like, the entire. Like, when I, when I was doing New Game Plus, I learned all this stuff. The best combo is, like, Void, Get, Crash, and then Purge, uh, Purge, Bounce, and then really whatever, like, the third one. You don't really need Crash twice, so I put, I usually put, like, Flood for the fuck of it. So you just go back and forth between those two things. And I, like, had all that shit. I could have made that combo, or, like, a good enough combo. And I didn't do it! 
I, I fucking just... I didn't know you could jump on top of this. I was like... It was so... It was frustrating to look at that. To like... But it's like, I'd only had a few hours of experience with the game at that point, so... Oh, here we go. So here are... Oh, wait, are you fucking serious? I have all the suits unlocked still. Dude, that's fucking OP. I have all my suits unlocked from the first playthrough. I can just pick whatever the fuck I want. So here are the four DLC characters. This one, that sucks. This one right here. He's the guy to use if you want. He's really good to use in the inf Inferno challenges. But I think um, this one is also decent. But you don't get life from red orbs, which, you know, that can be a problem. Um, so I just use this guy because at least he can get healed. But he does take massive damage on hard mode. Um... This guy's pretty good, but I don't like using him that much. Uh, I would pro- this guy's actually not bad. Melee attacks steal life, collect bonus money. Stamina regenerating slowly isn't that huge of a deal. Anyway, but the thing is I don't like any- the look of any of the characters. I usually just use- bam, right here. That's all I really use. But. Just for the hell of it. Let's see what the other ones are. No, don't want that. Don't want that. See, I, don't, I, I like... I like all these... You know, I like some of the, the looks of... <sighs> I like the look of some of the costumes. Like this. This is the one I would use if I didn't want that. Like, I don't want less life. I would totally use that, but it's just... I don't want those effects. So I just use this all the time. I, I, most of my hard playthrough I use just basic bare bones, nothing, like no, no pros or cons. Mainly the reason is I like the, the way her half skirt thing flows when she's running. I like the running animations, honestly, like most of the characters. It's pretty cool. But I just mostly use Tostada. But the thing is that the game still refers to you as Swan, no matter who you pick. Even though, like, she's not a DLC character or anything, you can always be her. She's in the normal game. So, it's kind of weird that they don't ever... What the hell? Oh, I didn't see his stupid bone, you asshole. So it's kind of weird that they, d that they do it like that, but... I don't know, I guess it's really about Juan. It's not really about her at all. You fucking cocksucker. Get out of here. I need to get the- ow! Fucking- those bones are so hard to see. See, I like that you can do combos in the air. That's my favorite shit. I really need the, uh... Oh, motherfucker. I really need the fucking slam move. The green move. The green move. This guy. This is the boss. It's not right now, but this fucking guy. Nope! Don't give a shit who you are. Anyway, I don't think any of the main actual dialogue, the, the the story dialogue, I don't think any of that's really um, particularly funny. Funny. So I don't feel too bad about skipping it. This game is one of those things where they give you like a shitload of um, checkpoints. Because like there's always, they, they'll constantly have like like little, um, they have like little sections that are like kind of complicated, or like they're, they're like platforming section sections that'll one hit kill you or something. So they give you plenty of uh, plenty of checkpoints, or they'll have oh they'll put one like behind every fight or whatever. Get fucked! I'm like. God, it's, even though it's been a while, I'm still pretty good at this game already. Or I, I still remember all this shit. Like, I don't have to hesitate or wonder what the hell's going on. That is the real damn difference about playing a game that I've already played before, especially on normal mode. Like, once I've, I already did hard mode, and now I'm doing it on normal mode. 
just a breeze, man. Oh, I'm gonna have like a ton of silver. Like, yeah, look, it still keeps my silver from the last playthrough. I got nothing to spend it on now. I don't think I have enough to even afford an upgrade yet, so I'm not even gonna bother. See what I mean about that? That that little ow, that little uh, that that slow mo. But it's not really slow mo. It's just like ch -ch -ch -ch. I love it. Ow, whoops! Doesn't work that way. The only thing that really kind of fucks me up sometimes is uh, is this supposed to be a Metroid? Anyway, the only thing that kind of fucks me up sometimes is you can't dodge unless you move forward. Like, see that? I'm not pressing... I'm not even pressing uh, a direction, right? She do, she goes forward. So you can't do a... You can't do a dodge that's shorter than that. You can do that. That's a dodge. Like, it's kind of like a Smash Bros. dodge, where you get... You don't have any momentum, or it, it doesn't change your momentum at all. You just do a dodge. But it's pretty short. Oh yeah, this game actually just has... They, they even call them... They don't call them Chozo, they call them Chuzo statues. And they give you... Yeah, see, that's the guy from the DLC. All those people are from the game. Especially like, bad boys. Anyway. Um... Which... What move do I get? Do I get the... Oh, I must get the uppercut. I think. Give me a move, old man. Yes. I like how the moves are, like, color-coded, too. It becomes a little hectic later on, but... Little stun up a cut! And now I've got a stamina bar. But at least now I've got, like, some actual moves. Oh, you know what I like about... Um... Tostada is just the kicks. I like that she's a kick-based person. Juan does a bunch of punching and whatever, but she does kicks. I also, like, look, this is what I like about this game, is you can go into the map and you can see what areas you've missed, so you know, once I get the blue move, I just come back here and there's a the blue move right there. It's like, look, all, all, the, all the different moves are color-coded, and once you destroy the block, it disappears from your map. So you know you've been there, and that's real convenient. And die. Wow, I hit both of them with that. Is there anything over here? Alright. Oh, Whatever. I wanna get to I don't know. I wanna get to the, the platforming sections. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 okay, bye. Forgot about this. Oh, okay, so here we go. I wanted a platforming section, here's one. This sucks because I don't have any, like, I don't have very many, uh, jumping options right now. All I have is the uppercut. I think I got a double jump way late into the game. And it is super useful, but, uh, anyway, at least now I can combo people. Get out of the ground, you bitch. That double jump is really nice for this kind of shit. Because having to use your stamina just to jump really sucks. And like, it's super limited, that whole jump. Or that whole uppercut thing. Anyway, at least I'm blasting through this game. That's what I want to do. I just want to like, I'm going to kind of speed run it, but still get as much as I can. You know? I don't want to waste time like I usually do. Um, how much money do I have? Not that much. Oh, this is what I like doing. It's just comboing these fuckers. This is like the, the key to having a large combo. Not that a combo really does anything. But, he, oh man. Wow, look at this combo right here. Damn! Pretty combo. 
Uh, an easy way to get like huge combos is with the um, is with that guy, the goat guy. You, I don't know how to say that. Ua Chivo, because uh, he's got the infinite stuff, so you just like just spam all the special moves, and mo uh, some of the special moves will give you like three combo per hit, and so you just spam the fuck out of those. I think the uh, down slam move gives you. Oh, I think there's a free. Yep, look at that. The down, the down smash gives you like a uh, super. It gives you three hits, I think. But then some of the other ones only give you like two. Um, uh, let's see. There's. I don't think I can really make any progress in here, and I don't think I can even get to the um, 